Hi folks, Paul Speck at Cali Sport here on a cold November morning uh, taking you through a new listing that we just picked up. This is a 2008 Chris Craft 28 launch. Uh, probably aesthetically one of the most beautiful boats uh, ever built. It is a head turner. It is a great ride. A quality boat um, from one of the best manufacturers in the game. Uh, Chris Craft uh, long time long standing name they've really come back into the market from the early 2000s uh, we're really hitting their stride uh, here in about 2008 when this boat came out it's powered by a pair of volvo 57 gi's 300 horse fuel injected uh, it does have digital shift and throttle which is really nice uh, rather than mechanically uh, engaging the drive set which is a pair of sx's here uh, stainless props uh, this digitally shifts. The actuators are centered on the uh, starboard side, the bulkhead there. Uh, easy in and out of gear, very quick system, and very similar to what you'd see in a lot of diesel boats of this age, uh, so on and so forth. But great layout. Uh, I've told this is a freshwater boat. Uh, it was not sold originally at Lake of the Ozarks. I believe it was sold down south, uh, but was kept on a lake. Uh, beautiful, beautiful boat. Aesthetically speaking, I don't know if there's a prettier one um, at this age especially, uh, but just a beautiful boat. Full windlass up front. Great layout inside. We'll hop in there. The exterior of the boat's in really good shape. Um, from my knowledge, the blue, the whole side is actually Imran. Uh, the white is gel. And I believe the red is gel, but I can feel a little paint line there. Uh, and I know today they do not offer uh, the boat in anything but Imran, with the exception of a couple different little colors. Uh, great attention to detail on the boat itself. If you go down, all these screw heads are teed up. Um, I know I've got a lot of pictures of the boat and some ancillary things, but that's what makes it a Chris Craft. The little touches, the teak work. Uh, stainless grab rails everything is top notch uh, the tea could use a little bit of work a sand and then oil but uh, nothing world ending it does have a little tripod ski uh, ski tow bar here uh, that is removable three pins uh, if you wanted to take it out permanently you can do that as well and it has a regular ski hook there below the grab bar going into the boat uh, nice walk through full teak this teak that was under cover is beautiful uh, looks just like it should. Uh, the interior of the boat, uh, there are some spots on the upholstery to point out. There's a pole here, and then the pole here that's starting. Not world ending stuff, uh, it's certainly easy to fix. Uh, go ahead and count that into uh, oh, buying the boat or anything like that. But uh, great layout, not a better boat out there uh, for a day boat. This boat also has a pretty neat feature. If you look here, very clean, flush layout, uh, which is indicative of Chris Craft, not a lot of what I would just call chintzy items hanging around. Um, you know, you see a lot of boat manufacturers just fill boats up with junk. This is a very clean layout, uh, very traditional styling. Underneath, uh, we do have a full bimini top, but rather than having that bimini rattle around in the way, banging around, beating the boat up. It stows underneath the engine hatch here, um, grab handle, and then slides forward. That pegs in up front. So you can have shade if you'd like. Plenty of stowage in the boat, huge bow. Uh, and then this bow that I'm standing in fills in. The filler cushions are right here. There's a full head underneath there. Uh, nice windless, uh, I believe it was Maxwell. Don't quote me on that though. Uh, just little touches like your navigation lights, pop-up cleat centered. It's got great, great features and just a beautiful boat. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit, uh, I don't know, out of the ordinary, sets you apart, low hours as well. 233 is what the hour meters are showing. This boat's awesome. Uh, and for the money, twin engines, going on a 30 foot boat, nice wide beam. I don't think you can beat it. Look us up online if you aren't already. It's www.kellysport.com. Uh, give us a phone call, 573-280-7740. Uh, or stop by in person. We're in Osage Beach, 5250 Dude Ranch Road, Osage Beach, Missouri. 
Thanks again. Uh, let us know what questions come up, but just absolutely a beautiful boat, uh, certainly one of a kind.